SRM JEE's tentative dates are somewhere uh, around third week of June or end of June. Uh, you should know that uh, CBSE is finishing exams around 10th of June as per the schedule given by them. And JEE mains would start on 3rd of July. And, and that is the reason that we have kept it in between. We have always been doing it traditionally between these two examinations also. And this time, it will not be a change from that pattern. This also, uh, indirectly, you can say that students appear in lots of examinations of this nature. It also helps them. I know that there'll be a focus on JE for many of them. But in between, if they come and attempt this, they, they get a practice, they get to do better, they get to self-evaluate. And therefore, this is the best preferred time for them, uh, in my opinion. And that's what we have chosen. But... Uh, you never know the circumstances in the current set of conditions of COVID. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that we'll be able to maintain the schedule without any change. But if need be, we'll change it all. I think that's a, a very pertinent question that do you want to come through the main route or the alternate route? Alternate route anyway is costly and a set score would generally be given preference for only for the foreign category or NRI category students. So our scheme of things is very clear. Our all admissions are through SRM, JEE, our own examination, our own this thing. Also, let's remember that uh, we are linking all our scholarships also through the SRM, JEE rank. So good and deserving students will have to come through that route. However, in most cases, in most institutions, including SRM, some seats will not be filled, which may be of different branch or whatever. And we give preference, next preference will be given to the JEE. And within JEE, uh, I think we have not yet uh, closed what will be the JEE score up to which we will take, but we will make that also public, that what will be the next level of thinking uh, in terms of the ranking in JEE. And then comes the SAT. So SAT will be third in the order. JE will be second in the order. The first in the order will be this thing. But we don't want to undermine any examination by saying that we are considering at third level. That will be important for us for foreign admissions for sure. There is no doubt about it. And on top of that, JE is important for us because first 10,000 rank holders of JE are given direct admissions in SRM also. So we respect others, but we have to obviously take care that we bring all competitors to a single platform called SRM JE and conduct the examinations and their merit that. And with that, their uh, eligibility for scholarships, et cetera, will be better. So it's very, very likely that if you're coming through the second and the third, uh, 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 you can say the mechanisms of JE and others, you may not get the best of the branches also. That's another thing. Backup-wise, everything is open because uh, we have seen the unforeseen things in last year and not only SRM, other institutions also. Uh, fundamentally, your question is uh, appropriate that would 12th marks would be considered at some point of time for admission. I wish the schemes which we had done in JE some seven, eight years back were continuing and 30% or 40% of the weightage for 12th was there. Life would have been easy for JE and for all of us. But right now, uh, we don't want to consider it uh, uh, as an exclusive mechanism till the situation forces us to do that because um, one, declaration of result is not in our control. Number two, uh, uh, we find that uh, some of them delay, it, but in addition to delay, some of them don't share what you call the... The, the finer details of the board results which are required for normalizations in case we need to do plus two as a basis. And therefore, most of us tend to avoid plus two marks uh, in a normal routine. And that is the reason why JEs like ours are becoming important. And we will go with the SRM JE. In worst case, we'll be ready. We have already done it in 2020 that we went ahead with the plus two marks. But we should know that even Tamil Nadu declared their results much later this particular year for the board. So we cannot depend on the plus two. If the plus two marks will become a basis for whatever reason, the admissions will be delayed like last year. That's my take. So yes, we are open, but it's very likely this time with the vaccines rolling out, with everything happening positive and a lot of, uh, you can say, 
uh, change which has already happened from previous 2020, I think uh, uh, there should not be any problem with the SRMJE. It's not a question of uh, chance, I would say. In my opinion, the change has already happened. Uh, this is something which is a base level thing uh, for any student that what he has studied in plus two or up to plus two level, he or she should be examined only for that. So it's not our choice or I would say for any other such equivalent examinations uh, uh, body's choice that they do different syllabus. SRM has already followed the same guidelines. We have already reduced our syllabus by 30%. I have not sought exact details myself what components have been reduced, but it's available in my mail. I didn't go through that, but it's reduced and it's in sync and tune with what CBSE has done this particular year by reducing it by 30%. <laughs> All the examining bodies, whether it is JE or any other equivalent examination other than SRM JE, would all be facing this challenge. And uh, my understanding right now is that we will make as many centers as we can. And I think we'll be able to do it. It is generally done on the basis of number of applicants from a particular region or whatever. And uh, all our agencies who help us uh, in our examinations, the last year it was adequity, but uh, we always keep uh, taking a call on that. And they offer us centers wherever we want. So I'm sure centers would generally be close to all the students wherever they want. However, mm, situations will improve so they can travel to some distances also, if so required. Now your more specific part of your question is, would it be home proctored examination? I think that's what you want to know, or maybe the students would like to know. I don't think so. Our uh, home proctored examinations are a solution because the basis of question itself is they don't have devices and they don't have connectivity. All right. It's not a repeat kind of an examination that some student faced a time, uh, a time out and then I'll give him a time in again after one day or two days. So such examinations will have to happen in a given stroke or at a given point of time. And therefore, home proctored examination will be even bigger risk for some of the students. That is number one. Number two, home proctored examinations uh, cannot ensure every fairness in this kind of a competitive examination as of now. Uh, that's another challenge. Uh, yes, we have experimented. SRM is one of the biggest. We have done 20. 20,000 uh, examinations in one go in recent times, but we still have to see the efficacy of proctoring right now. That what is the end result? How many were false alarmed by saying that he was looking here, he was copying here, he was not focusing here. So I think uh, this technology is upcoming. Uh, you probably know because you are in the domain. I was reading a couple of days back that GMAT, GRE people who allowed home proctored examinations recently faced some challenges. I do not know, I've not gone into finer details of what challenges they have faced, but they have faced challenges. And remember, GMAT, GRE appearing students are generally well-to-do and generally have all the access and everything. In spite of that, there was a challenge. So my take is either it is going to be uh, 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 what we call examination at designated centers. And if for some reason we are unable to do it, we'll fall back on that suggestion you are making plus two results. This is uh, something uh, theoretically or ideally one should give more attempts. I was the one when I was in government who was advocating these multiple attempts like crazy, let me tell you. And, uh, and uh, we didn't succeed because technology was not there and there were many other reservations which were there at that time. So JE moving to four uh, uh, attempts is a very, very positive thing. But please remember that SRM cannot be equated to JE in terms of its positioning and and uh, and and uh, we did till year before last year offer more than one attempt last year anyway whatever we offered came to null because we had to uh, we were forced to take 12th examination results we're not yet close to whether uh, we should allow the second attempt or not but i would say that second attempt in our case means hardly anything because we conduct all our examinations within 5 days and if I have appeared on day one or day two and I have not done well and I'm preparing for my uh, uh, another attempt on this, 
I think I hardly have any time to prepare or do anything. So it's just for sake of it, if it has to be done, we can do it. There might be an odd student who will fall ill and cannot do good on that day, probably will be more benefited. But in that case, that, that case can be handled by us directly also, not calling it as a second attempt. He can come at a second day or third day or fourth day. So uh, in our case, it means less to give second attempt. And if you run this examination for a month together online or 15, 20 days online, declare the results uh, in such a fashion that we give last one week as a slot for repeaters who want to repeat, then there is a meaning to this second this thing. Uh, so in effect, uh, it will not change much in terms of the positioning as far as the students are concerned. That's our assessment. But uh, if you have any feedback and if you think uh, students feel very comfortable by attempting second one, uh, a second examination uh, in the same series of five days, I think uh, we can allow and offer them. We'll also think about it. COVID has not impacted us at all in placements. Uh, uh, I don't know the national scenario, but certainly not uh, to us. Uh, yes, it might have made a slow start, but uh, if we see the, the numbers, we already crossed 5,000 placements uh, 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 in the current year, 5,000 offers. Last time we reached 8,600 plus offers last year. And this year, just uh, January is beginning. We have another four and a half, five months to go. And we'll again reach the same kind of uh, uh, percentage uh, placements, I would say, because uh, last year our batch was somehow very big. Uh, for the last year, we graduated actually 17,000 plus students in the current convocation, which happened. But this year, we'll be graduating only 15,000 students, uh, slightly over 15,000. So because the batch sizes are different, overall numbers may not be 8,600. But in terms of percentage, we may beat or we may maintain the same numbers which are there. And so, so placements are good. Number of companies, we will attain a similar number like last year. We have reached the halfway mark right now. Halfway mark is satisfactory because uh, it's only halfway. We started the placements, et cetera, a little late only. Every company also started late only. And uh, overall performance is very good. And it's very good in terms of what we call super dream offers. The super dream offers, we already crossed last year's figure uh, this year. And our super dream offers are typically, I think, 10 lakh plus, if I'm not wrong. That is the super dream offer we call. So those, have, those numbers have already been crossed significantly this year. Uh, that is the placement take. Uh, uh, there is no challenge in general as far as the placements are concerned right now. 